Welcome again to Anointing Oil Dynamics and we want to advise you please subscribe to our YouTube channel you can also follow us on Facebook as well as you are free to share any one of our presentations wherever you go today I want to highlight something that I entitled the door will be shut very soon or the shutting of the door the door will be shut very soon now in the book of Genesis we identified in chapter 7 reading from verse 15 and of course you know the days of Noah are so closely connected to the coming of the Lord but in verse 15 it declares and they went in unto Noah into the ark two and two of all flesh wherein is the breath of life and they that went in went in male and female of all flesh as God has commanded him and the Lord shut him in and the Lord shut him in in verse 17 he declares and the flood was 40 days upon the earth the waters increased and bear up the ark and it was lifted up above the earth notice no one his family were lifted up above the earth in John chapter 20 and verse 19 this will be after the resurrection Jesus appeared to his disciples and it says when the same day at evening being the first day of the week when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them peace be unto you again that's John 20 and verse 19 and I want for you to see that this appearance occurred when the door was shut and then in chapter 20 and verse 26 it declares another similar incident this time is a visitation for Thomas and after eight days again his disciples were within and Thomas with them then came Jesus and here it is again the door being shut and stood in the midst and said peace be unto you peace be unto you there is something that I feel is going to happen very very soon and that is a door will be shut there is still room in the ark of christ for many to get into the safety zone with jesus as he is a door for all wandering sheep god continues to delay his coming and allow the opportunity for others searching, searching looking and reaching for him time to enter his grace is now but the day is quickly approaching us when the time of delay will be no more and the opportunity for salvation will be gone God is coming to shut the door so that his chosen his elect and his faithful can be rescued from the world what is significant about God shutting the door of the ark means it's an act of God it provides a wonderful demonstration of the twin truth of man's responsibility and God's sovereignty that we see throughout the scriptures after God shuts the ark after God shuts the door in our generation the time of judgment will arrive those who have gone through the doorway will be saved no one else will enter no one his family had to obey God's command to build and then enter the ark of salvation but it was God who commanded the ark to be built as a means for the family of Noah to be saved and to protect them from a time of judgment now the ark in the ancient time represented salvation in Jesus Christ there was one door and that was Christ there were three levels God the Father the very base which is the place for food and sustenance the Son being in the second level which is where the door is and the third one had one window which was the Holy Spirit so it represents Jesus Christ as our salvation Jesus said that I am the door and whosoever enters by me shall be saved this is found in John chapter 10 and verse 9 John chapter 10 and verse 9 nothing we can do will save us from sin except salvation is all of God yet our responsibility is to go through the doorway which is to go through Christ in order for us to be saved people who are offended by the name of Jesus Christ Jesus indicated in John chapter 11 blessed is he who is not offended in me how do we put all of this together only God can bring man's responsibility and his divine sovereignty perfectly together 
We need to live with this tension and accept it. It is God's word that teaches such a case. allow me to take some time today as I show you some evidence of this pattern I have found in the scriptures where the door is going to be shut and soon there will be no more room the doors will be shut and soon there will be no more room patterns of protection now number one will be in the days of Noah as I highlighted in Noah's day there was rapid increase in violence rapid increase in fets and parties and rapid in, and rapid increase or massive floodings all over the world I don't have to tell you of what has been going on around the world over the last few months almost every day almost every week you see evidence of this but only when Noah and his family were safe in the ark did the flood waters came notice when God's people is behind closed doors or shut doors which is a way for escape for the righteous only then did the judgment come upon the land in the, in the days of Lot, we see two elements of the same thing in the life and testimony of, El, of um, Lot while he was in the sin cities. Lot's household was protected from blindness when, of course, them, the two angels came into him. The people wanted to get in to find out who they were, and Lot tried to restrain them. And then the angel came out, or one of the individuals who was an angel came out, pulled Lot into the house, shut the door behind, ensuring Lot and his families behind closed doors, and then strike the entire audience with blindness. We find this in Genesis 19 and verse 10. Then the next morning, they had to basically drag Lot and his family out because they had to remove them first in order for the judgment of fire to come upon the city. In 1922 of the book of Genesis, he tells them to hastily escape hither for I can do, I cannot do anything till thou art come out. And of course, you know, Abraham had prayed for them, but again, there must be a separating of the righteous. There must be a difference between the righteous and the unrighteous. 
The third one, or the third example of a shut door, we find is in the ten plagues. And plague number ten was a dead angel. They were told to place blood upon the doorpost and they were to go into the house and shut the door. When the dead angel passed, nobody was allowed to even enter or exit until the night has passed. And that's in Exodus 12 and verse 22. Nobody must leave. The door must remain shut in order to be protected. Number four. Rahab and Jericho, two spies came in the days of Joshua to spy out the land. She hid them in her ceiling and then upon uh, them being released to return, they gave her or they gave to her a red ribbon to hang out of her window and they tell her, listen, bring your entire family into the house and let them stay in the house, let nobody go out, the door must be shut when the judgment came. And of course, when the walls fell, it was the only part of the wall that did not fall, the whole house did not fall, and they were behind a closed door in order to be protected from the judgment that was there, a pattern of protection. Number five, we come down to the New Testament. In Matthew 25 and verse 10, it declares that there were 10 virgins, five were wise and five were foolish, but the five that were foolish went out to buy in verse 10. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in unto him to the marriage and the door was shut. And the door was shut. Notice that although they were all virgins, dressed like virgins, walk like virgins, talk like virgins, they ran out of oil, they left the place of waiting, went to do the place of business. And when they came back, the door was shut. In 2 Kings number 6, in 2 Kings chapter 4 and verse 4, a woman lost her husband and she had two children. She was in great debt and she went to the prophet. And he told her what she had in her house and she said oil. And he tell her, well listen, go and borrow as much vessels as you can. And what she did is that he tell her when she come out, begin to pour oil into the vessels. But this is interesting that in verse 4 he declares and when thou art come in thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy son now notice there's a famine on the outside but she now has to shut the door which is to shut the famine out and there is provision for her inside behind the shut door and thou shalt pour unto all those vessels and thou shalt lay aside them when they are filled so when so she went from him in verse 5 and shut the door upon her and upon her sons who brought the vessels onto her and she poured out. And I want to tell you, the miracle of the oil continually running happened behind a closed door while there was a famine on the outside. Number seven, Matthew chapter six and verse six. Jesus says that when saints are to pray, when you are in times of prayer, it declares that thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. And thy father which see it in secret shall reward thee openly. And thy father which see it in secret shall reward thee openly. In other words, then there is greater power in secret, personal, private prayer time than there is in public declarations. Shut the door about thee. Psalms chapter 71 and verse 2 declares, Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thy ear unto me and save me. Psalm 141 verse 10 says, Let the wicked fall in their own net, while that I will escape. So there is, a, there is a pattern of protection. There is a way of escape. There is a shut door that allows for the opportunity of those within that door to be given a greater opportunity. In Isaiah chapter 26, and I want to read this one. It's called the Great Isaiah Vision of the end of days uh, from verse 17 he declares like a woman with child that draw it near to her time of her deliveries and praying and cried out in a prance so have been so have we been in thy sight O lord we have been with child we have been in pain we have brought forth wind we have not wrought any deliverance in the earth neither has the inhabitation of the wall of the world fallen so isaiah is talking about what israel has done and in verse 19 he declares thy dead men shall live together with my dead body shall they arise awake and sing ye that dwell in dust for thy dew is as the dew of earth and the earth shall cast out the dead now that of course speaking there is a resurrection where the, the earth will cast out the dead but in verse 20 is where i want to zero in come my people enter thou into thy chamber and shut the door about thee 
Hide thyself as it were a little moment until thy indignation, thy judgment, thy tribulation, thy wrath be passed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose of her blood and shall no more cover her sleep. So God is going to come forth and bring forth the judgments on the earth. But in verse 20, very, very clear, indicated that come my people, enter into the chamber and shut the door body. Hide for a little moment. The opportunity is coming for us according to the book of Isaiah that God is going to shut the door very, very soon and we will be hidden away for a little moment until this great judgment that is coming. Now is the time to get saved. Now is the time to live right. Now is the time to ensure that we are living the life that is needed, God pleasing. We need to make sure we are in Christ, in God, in the ark, and we are living for Him. We are watching for Him. And as I said, keep watching. Keep watching. Number nine, which I alluded to at the very beginning. Jesus visits his disciples in chapter 20 and verse 19 of the Gospel of John. First day of the week, the door being shut, Jesus appeared unto them. And here is where he visited his disciples about one week after his resurrection. He visits his disciples. Now in the same way, I am of the view that it will be behind shut doors where Jesus will reveal himself to the church, to each and every one of us. Just as how there's a kindergarten version of him revealing himself to the original disciples, he will now reveal himself to all of us in the same way when we will see him as he is. First John chapter three and verse three, verse two and verse three, we shall be like him, we shall see him as he is. And every man that have this hope in him purifies himself. Jesus will reveal who he is to us behind shut doors. Behind shut doors. And finally, number 10, a very important one. Eight days later, Thomas, who is a uh, an educator, he's an investigator, he don't just want to take words like it, he want to verify, he want to examine the facts, he want to operate like an investigator, he's a private investigator in the days of Jesus, and he want to examine, he, want, he says, unless I touch, unless I feel, unless I examine. And Jesus, in, in verse 26 of chapter 20, being the eighth day, uh, he appeared up to them, or he stood in the midst of them, and again you will see the pattern, the doors were shut. The doors were shut. This was a second visit so that Thomas can do his examination. And Jesus honored, he honored Thomas for the fact that he wanted to verify the claims of Jesus. And Jesus allowed him to be able to verify. And when he did, he said, my Lord and my God, my Lord and my God. But again, watch the pattern. He did it behind shut doors. He did it behind shut doors.
Let me close by saying that the judgment will come right after the doors are shut. Genesis 7 and verse 10, and it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. Now I firmly believe right after the door is shut, there will be a little time before the judgment come because when the doors are shut in the book of Genesis, we see that there is a delay of seven days, yet seven days, and the flood came upon the earth. So there is a small delay that is there. We find it again also in Genesis 7 and verse 4. Yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain on the earth. So there is a small delay, and maybe when the rapture takes place, maybe when the Lord shut the door, people will need a few days, a week, a week or two, a short period of time to just be able to get themselves accustomed to the, to the new abnormal that has just happened, that billions of people have disappeared over the face of the earth. God's judgment is coming. The door is going to be shut very soon. Allow me to pray with you this afternoon. If you have never made Jesus Lord over your life, if you have for some reason departed from the faith, you have become cold, you have become weary, you have become fed up with the things of the church, rest assured that Jesus remains Jesus and God be God. When we stand on that day before the Lord, each one of us will have to give an account and there will be many things in our lives that are not perfect that will have to be burnt up and purified and cleansed at the beam of judgment. But one thing is to show, we need to make sure that we are in Christ, in God. We have a few more moments again before the door is shut. When we look at all of the disasters around the world, we can tell beyond shadow follow there is an acceleration of time. There is an increase of activity. But today, wherever you are, as you're on this channel and you're listening to me, today is an opportunity. The door has not yet been shut. The church is still on earth, but soon the church will be moved out from earth. Pray this prayer after me. Say, oh God in heaven, I thank you that Jesus is my ark. Jesus is my way out over the flood that is coming on the earth. Jesus is a door for me to get to heaven and to get to God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the door to the sheepfold. I have tried living my life on my own, and I recognize that I need help. And I ask you, Jesus, to come into my life and be Lord over my life. I accept you now as my Lord and Savior. I want to be in the ark of Christ. I want to be one of those that will be inside when the door shut. Father, we pray even now for everyone that prayed a prayer. You'll visit them behind their mobile devices, behind their technology right now, and let there be a work in their hearts even now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for their salvation. We thank you that they are part of God's family. And we thank you, O oh God, that you can do a work in their life. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Feel free to send me a WhatsApp at 1-868-683-9883. Or you can also just put a comment underneath this video and we will get in contact with you wherever you are in the world. It could be from Russia, China, the Far East, uh, the South American continent, wherever you are. You, are, you can contact us, make a comment, share this video, and let's get a message out. We still have a small window small opportunity but soon and very soon the door is going to be shut and the judgment of god is going to come upon you feel free to subscribe to our channel thank you for joining us on anointing oil dynamics until i greet with you again in the near future god bless you